the last ham that I did, there's two types of hams. There's some that are called fresh ham, and those are like kind of like a pork roast, but it's still ham because it comes off the leg of the pig, okay? Then there's your regular ham that you guys are used to during the holidays. It's pink and it's a little salty and sweet and like a honey cured ham. Uh, a cured ham is different. This one, we're gonna try and make the pink ham version, okay? That means you have to cure it. And I'm using something called Morton's Tender Quick. Uh, it's made up of salt, it's made up of sugar, and it's made up of some uh, sodium nitrates. Now, sodium nitrate is a thing that uh, makes the cells change inside the ham and gives you that pink colorization. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our two gallons of water in the pot. Next, I'm gonna put in the brown sugar. Place in our garlic cloves. Put in our onion powder. Squirt in our honey. I'm just kinda eyeballing this. Do our peppercorn. Place in your bay leaves. Then here we go, this is the uh, magic. This is the Morton's Tender Quick Salt, Sugar, and Your Nitrates. And you can get it at your local butcher shop usually. Just talk to your butcher, see what he recommends. Pouring that in there too. Now, you're gonna bring this to a boil. You wanna get everything dissolved and mixed together. Then you're gonna bring it down to a cold temperature and then you're gonna put the ham in. We're gonna leave it four days. So let me get this brewing right now and I'll come right back here to drop the ham in. Okay, here we go. Just pulled it out of the refrigerator. It should be all chilled and ready to be submerged. You always put the fat side up. You can submerge this in. And, oh, it looks pretty good. We're gonna have it uh, just brining for four days. Directions say to take it out of here and soak it for about an hour or two in clean water. So let's let me drain this and rinse it and get it in clean water and I'll show you what. Well, let's take a look. Let's see if it's turning pink at all. I mean, it, I don't know if it's, it's just the, I won't know until I cook it. Just gonna olive oil the outside. A little olive oil and canola mixed, but I'm uh, gonna do that first. This is so I could season the outside, get an outer crust on this thing. This is uh, the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. It's my seasoning. You can get it on my website, thebestsauces.com. Okay, let's get our thermometer in there. Kind of do or die here, so let's just uh, cut the bone out first. So maybe we should take the fat off first, huh? Probably want to take some of this fat off. There we go. Look at that. Wait a minute, can you see that? That's pink. No way, okay, now I'm excited. Hang on a minute. All right, let's cut this away from the bone, if we can. Look at that. No, that's pink. I mean, that's not, <laughs> I'm all excited because it, it succeeded. Look, now you can see that all right, there's a little bit. This shows you that it's truly pink, except right here it's not pink, see that? That means that I probably could have gone one more day in the nitrates. I did a four day soak and I've heard going as far as seven days. So that proves that it did turn pink. It's not, it's not rare, because that would be rare. Look at that, but I made it turn pink. I cured the ham. All right, now I'm ready to carve this bad boy. Oh man, it worked. Now we gotta try it. We gotta taste it, but how's that look? So let's just get to it. Let's just try a piece, okay? We'll see how it tastes. See if it's salty, see if it's sweet. Let's try it out. Oh, it's perfect. Mmm, a little salty. Mmm, this is more tender than the last one I made. Mmm, yep. Tender. Salty. 
yeah, it's not as sweet as I'd like it, but I could always put a glaze on this. Uh, I would do probably more brown sugar or maple syrup or honey into the brine more, make a sweeter brine. Uh, this is salty, this is tender, this did exactly what it was supposed to do. I'm gonna have another piece and then maybe uh, make um, ham steaks for breakfast tomorrow. You guys, thanks for bearing with me on this one. I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out. It turned out great and I will see you on the next episode. Take care. Now we gotta try it. We gotta taste it, but how's that look? Does that look good? Whoop. <laughs>